Pericles, Prince of Tyre. It is a Jacobian play and is written by William Shakespeare and is included in the modern editions of his collected works. Although there is a dispute in the real authorship of the play and it is believed that some parts of the play were written by Shakespeare whereas the other parts were written by some inferior writer. Although whatever the situation may be, many arguments also support that Shakespeare is the sole author of the play. Now coming to the story of the play. The story of the play is about as the title suggests Pericles who is a prince of Tyre and uh, he as the play opens he comes to be informed about a riddle because the play opens in the court of Antiochus who is the king of Antioch and Antioch has offered his daughter's hand to the person who answers the riddle that he has composed. Pericles understands what is there in the riddle and knows that there is an illicit relationship between the daughter and the father. But he does not reveal the truth because he is afraid that he will be killed and he says to the king that he must be given some time that is the time span of 40 days so that he will answer the question after 40 days. In the meanwhile Antiochus grants him those 40 days and assigns an assassin to kill Pericles because Antiochus does not want this, their story to come out, the story of the illicit relationship between him and his daughter. Thus Pericles has to flood the city. Now after Pericles moves from this place, he goes to various islands and on one such island, uh, that is the island of Pentapolis, he is uh, rescued by some fishermen there after a shipwreck and there he attends a tournament where he becomes the winner and receives the hand of the daughter of the king, Thaisa is the name of the daughter in marriage. So they get married and they also have a daughter from that marriage. But what happens that uh, somehow uh, there is another shipwreck after they are trying to return back and uh, Thaisa is thought to be dead. So they leave the body of Thaisa into the storm and uh, Marina who is very small, the daughter's name is Marina, she is given to some of his uh, associates to take care of because Pericles knows that he is not going to or he is not able to take care of Marina in good form, she is very small. So he leaves her in the care of Cleon and Dionosa who are their friends. Now. Again some turning of events takes place and uh, um, Marina is not very much uh, liked by the caretakers and that's why uh, they tr uh, try to murder Marina. But somehow Marina is kidnapped by some pirates and is sold at a brothel. When Pericles returns to find his daughter, then the wife and the governor that is Cleon and Dionosa they claim that uh, uh, Marina is dead and Pericles is very grief stricken and again he becomes a wanderer and one such day while wandering again there is a shipwreck and he reaches to that island where Mariana was Marina was sold and uh, then Marina is only brought to sing for this king who is unconscious and Marina sings for Pericles and when Pericles comes back to his senses he recognizes Marina because she has the same face as his wife Thaisa and later on they come to find out that Thaisa is also not dead but she was also rescued and she was half alive and she beca has become a pri priestess in the temple of Diana. So the family finally unite and that is all the story of Pericles and Marina. Marina is also the poetry written by Eliot and uh, in that poetry Eliot takes up this story and uh, in act 5 of the play of Pericles written by Shakespeare Marina and Pericles reunite. So the 
poetry which Eliot talks about is about the same time when Pericles realizes that his daughter is alive. That is the time of the reunion of Pericles and Marina which makes the setting of Eliot's poetry Marina.